Hey guys, what is up? This is yomax 238 and today we will be doing a nether base tutorial. I will warn in advance that there are some materials such as white stained glass pane and iron uh, bars that aren't necessarily, you can't find them in the nether, but that kind of makes the base look good. So if you guys do like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. But with that said, I will post the materials for you in just a second. Here's the base. I hope you guys enjoy. If you do, don't forget to like and subscribe and comment down below if you guys like this base and want to see more videos like this because I would love to build another nether base tutorial. With that said, I hope you guys enjoy. Enjoy this video. Okay, so for the very first part of this build, what you want to go ahead and do first is clear out a space. And right here on the sign, it says we got 28 wide, so that's 28 wide this way. And then we got 19 long, 19 long this way. And if you also notice on the height, it said it does say 31 blocks tall, and that is because of the tower. So it is actually a pretty tall build, but that's all right. Now what we're going to want to go ahead and do, now that we got our grid set down and everything, we want to get this new polished blackstone and not cracked, but polished backstone bricks, which I gotta say guys, I really, 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 really like these new blocks. I hope you guys do, because they look, oh, they just look so cool. And they're super easy to get, which is the best part. Anyways, now that we got this grid out, which you don't necessarily need, it's totally up to you. We are gonna go from this corner right here, and I'm gonna put some stationary blocks down, so let me get my stone out. It's gonna be one, two, three blocks over, just like that. And then we'll go one, two, three blocks up. And that's where we'll uh, place the very first block of our actual foundation, which is this uh, polished blackstone bricks. So now I can delete these stationary blocks. And on this sign right here, it says we have a five by 11 tower. So this left tower right here is going to be five by 11. So from here, we'll go one, two, three, four, five. And then from this block, we'll go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11. Once you have that done, we can just go ahead and connect these corners and it should make a five by 11 rectangle, just like that. Next thing we're going to want to go ahead and do is we're going to start building the next layer of this foundation, which we will be using polished blackstone. So go ahead and we won't actually place in the corner. We'll actually skip the corner and we'll place a block right here. So it should be nine polished black. So, so let's make sure we got that right. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We will skip the corner again. We will go one, two, three. Then we will go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And we should have one, two, three once again, just like that. Super easy, super nice. Okay, now that we got that, we are gonna build a little connecting rail between these two towers. This will be your chest room, which I'll show you later on in the video. And this will be your main room where you actually live. So for this, we wanna go ahead and we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five. And keep in mind that I'm using the stone as stationary blocks for this video. I just thought that would be a good idea. So we got one, two, three, four, five, and that's where we will place our uh, first black stone brick. So overall, that's where that should be. You should have one, two, three, four of the polished ones right here. Now that you got that, we will add another block here, making a total of four blocks right here of the bricks. And we will go over two, just like that. One, two, just like that. And I think we actually go one more, just like that. So now that we got this down right here, we got the three blocks in this middle right here, we're gonna start building the next tower. So if you get your polished black stone bricks again, we will put one here and we will go from there. Uh, this is gonna be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And if you go two blocks from this corner right here, you can see that these two corners do match. So always make sure it goes two blocks away from the front of this face. Now over here, we will start. We will go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven with the polished blackstone bricks. And once again, it should go two blocks away, two blocks past this. Now over here, it does say that we have a nine by 15 rectangle, and this is gonna be the main build right here. So from this block, we will go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, just like that. And just to make sure we got it right, I might as well go ahead and count out this little stage right here. So it's gonna be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And since it is 15, it should match up perfectly, which it does. So that is great. Now that we got that done, we can do the polished blackstone again, which what we're gonna do for this is we're just gonna skip the corners like we have been doing, because that's kind of the style of the build that I went with. So we'll place all these polished blackstones right here. This should all connect perfectly. And I did actually forget what the dimensions of the tower was. Okay, so now that I actually have the dimensions of this tower right here, we will go in the back right corner right over here, and we'll place, uh, not on this block, but one block away, we'll place one right here, and we'll go one, two, three, uh, these three blocks with the polished blackstone bricks. We will go one diagonally, then we will go one, two, three, again, make sure that's a little bit diagonal. Then we'll place another block here, and then we'll go one, two, three. And for the polished blackstone, we'll actually just put the polished blackstone on top of the brick this time, because we want to have the tower placed on top right there. So now that we got that done, we will hop on over to this 
this tower and begin the construction of it. Okay, so for now, for the construction of this tower right here, we are going to want to go ahead and get some warped planks out. We're also going to want to get some warped stairs. We can get some warped, uh, stripped warped stem. We want the, I guess you're going to have to get warped stem and then strip it down if you're doing this in survival. But yeah, we will want this block. And then I think the last one we need is going to be stone, polished uh, black stone brick wall. That's a mouthful too, it does it say, isn't it? All right, now that we got that down, we are going to begin the uh, construction of this tower. So with the stripped warped stem, we're going to lay this down first. We're going to go one, two, three, four, five up in this corner. And each of these stems are going to be five tall as well. So it's going to be one, two, three, four, five right there. Right here, we're going to go up five as well. Here, we're going to do five. We're going to do the exact same thing on this wall as well. So that's five up right there, right here right here and then it's one two three four five now we will do it in the middle of each of these as well so if you go one two three blocks over we will go one two three four five and we will match it up on this side as well and this should look a little uneven you will see why later on in the video i will explain that but as for right now just leave it be and we'll get back to that later on so now what we're going to do for the uh building of this uh, tower right here for the warp planks we're going to lay down the foundation right here it's just going to be warp planks on this layer right here all the way around so just like this just fill it in real quick and you don't actually want to fill in this block right here because this is actually where a door is going to be eventually but that's all right so now we can get the warp stairs and for the windows we will go one two three it's going to be one by three high windows we'll place upside down warp stair right there right here we'll actually go warped plank then we'll do a warped stair then a warped plank and we can actually go ahead and fill these walls in as well right here like that because that's what the window is going to look so we will go over here, do the exact same thing, go up on either side and put the warped stair up right there. Each window should be one by three high. Now over here, we will just replicate what we did over there by putting the upside down warped stair right there. Right here, we will re replicate the windows that we've been doing, which is one, two, three, four up with the upside down warped stair. Then right here is going to be the doorway. So we will actually go up one, two on either side like this. We will place an upside down warped stair because this is where the doorway is going to be. Then we will go ahead and make the window that's going to be above the door. So we'll just go up one, two, one, two, connect with a solid block instead of a stair, just like that to create the little doorway. Now on top of this, and if you guys are building this in survival, I I'm sorry that I'm flying around. That makes it a little bit easier for me, but you guys can just build some scaffolding. You guys will be fine. So now what we will go ahead and do is we will get our polished black stone out and we'll uh, layer a layer on top of all these blocks, just going completely over just like this because that's what we want to do with the tower. So now that we got that done, we will get our polished black stone bricks out and we're actually going to go ahead and go one block out like this and start going around the corner like so. You don't want to connect it like this too. It's going to be one, two, three right here and it's going to go one, two, then it's going to connect. And again, don't have this block placed right here. And basically it's just going to wrap around the whole top of this build, except one block away, just like this. Pretty easy. Just go all the way around, almost there. And then we'll connect this side right here. And for the time being, what we can do, we will eventually texture all this up too towards the very end of the video. But for right now, we can actually just go ahead and fill this in. I'm not going to go ahead and fill it in on screen because I don't want to bore you guys. Instead, we'll get our polished blackstone brick wall and we'll go, uh, we'll just basically outline the corners of this uh, blackstone brick on top of it. So we'll just start going around like this and around these corners like this. And we'll basically just create a ring on top. I do apologize, I'm going a little bit quick. I kind of want to get this done in one video, which I don't know if that's going to happen or not yet because I'm still recording and everything. But I do want to get it done in one video just so you guys could have it in its entirety and not have to wait. So there we go though. We have got the tower complete. Again, fill this all in with the polished black stone if you would like. And then we will begin to move on how to construct this tower right here. So for this next part of the video, we will actually get a, uh, go ahead and get our warp slabs out as well. So what we're going to do, for, uh, starting off with this middle section, is we are going to get our warp, our stripped warp stem out, and we're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six up in either corner, kind of like we did with this tower over here, except it's one block taller. We'll go one, two, three, four, five, six right here, one, two, three, four, five, six right here, and then we will want to have uh, two center poles again, so one, two, three, four, five, six right there, and the same pl uh, place on this side which it's actually kind of nice right here because this meets up right here perfectly so you can tell exactly where it is. Then we will do the corner pieces over here as well. One, two, three, four, five, six, and this last uh, two corner pieces with the stripped log thing. I forget what this log is always called, stripped warp stem, there we go. So now that we got that, we will actually begin designing the windows. So get uh, your warp planks out and we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five over right here. And then we're just gonna make a rectangle or a box completely encircling it in warped planks. 
Once we have that down, we will get our warp stairs. We will place one upright warp stair here, then a block, then one warped up stair right there. And that's kind of the basic window concept that we'll be uh, using for each of these doors. Uh, I did do that kind of quick, but I will do it again multiple times so you guys can go ahead and see. First, we make the box, which is just like this right here. Then we put one upright stair, one block, one upright stair. Right here, you can actually go ahead and skip this window because you don't need this. This is where the tower is going to be. But on the back, you do need it. So make the box again, the five by five box. I think it's five by five. I could be wrong on that though. Don't listen to me. Just, just keep building the way I'm building it and you'll be fine. Then we'll do this last one right here. This is the window. And I think this is actually the last uh, window that we will do over here. So let's do this. We got one upright stair, block, upright stair. This is different though, because this is where the uh, doorway is going to be. But first, let's get a warped slab. And lining up with this brick right here, we're actually going to put one bottom slab right here. Then we're going to go up one. Oops, not right there. Uh, now that we got that, we will go up another one and then we will have two level right here. This is just so that way we, uh, we can get into the doorways. It's a little way up to get up the patio or the deck or whatever you want to call it. And I did not know this, but apparently you can't go from soul sand onto slabs. So you might want to change that to soul soil if you are building this. But now that we got that, we can go ahead and build this last section of the wall, which is going to be the doorway. So for the doorway, we will get uh, right here on this block. We will go one, two up. We will skip one because that's where the door is going to be. We'll go one, two, actually go up three on either one. We'll put an upside down warp stair just like that and then we will make a little window kind of like we did on this side right here just a one block window and then we'll fill just regular blocks right up there then we will create the smaller window over here so we'll go one two with the warp planks then we'll go one two three i believe yeah we do want the tops of these windows to be aligned then we'll cover this with warped planks like so and you can see we got a one by three window we got a little window right here with the doorway that leads into the house that will eventually be now i'm going to look up because i don't exactly remember how to build this next top section but we will go ahead and get that done so let's go ahead and move on to that part so i have got the next part figured out for this part we will also need some warped fence warped fence gate and I will get rid of a block that's not essential. I guess all these are essential, but we will get stairs as well. And specifically, we will get the polished black stone brick stairs. Okay, so what we're gonna do for this next part is first we will extend the stripped warp stem by two on each and every single layer. So one, two, one, two, one, two, every single post, we will just extend this. I never know the height of the full post. I just kind of like go with it as I go with the building tutorial, but it, it worked out fine. All right, so now that we got that, we will actually get our polished black stone brick wall and we will literally just fill this in right here, which I got to say, this kind of like half how it goes in a little bit with the walls looks so, so nice. I am so excited about that feature. It looks amazing. Anyways, now that we got that, we will continue just filling in these walls right around here. These are going to be the walls of our second or third story. I'm not exactly sure how many stories are in this house. I should have uh, probably check that out but it's all right so now that we got that we can skip this part right here too because that's where the tower is going to be but we got that and we got the walls filled in like so now we will get our polished black stone back out and we will actually just layer on top of what we already have. So we'll just put this on and this is kind of like a finishing top just to make it look nice. We will actually go all the way across here even though we have the tower right there, we do want that polished black stone going all the way across. Then we will fill this in right here. And next what we're gonna do is basically what we did over here last time with the polished black stone bricks is we will go one block out Break that block right there and we will go around and make a little outcropping that kind of goes one block off so break that block again break that block don't want you don't want any of the corner blocks because otherwise the walls won't look right on top of this build but basically we will just circle around really quickly i'm doing this as quickly as i can but it's taking a little bit of time okay now that we got that done you guys can go ahead and fill this in in your free time with the polished black stone i'm not going to do it because it does take up a lot of time to fill all this stuff in but basically you will fill this entire area up uh keeping it Level with the polished blackstone bricks. Next, we will get our polished blackstone brick wall back out and we will just circle the top just like this. And this I will actually go ahead and complete because there's a certain thing I do to each wall. There are some materials in this build, you guys could probably tell with the glass, that aren't necessarily exactly from uh, the nether. I tried to make this as nether based material as possible, but um, I don't know, for some glass and stuff like that, you can't get that in the nether. Adding in nether sand though, that would be the coolest thing ever. So now that we got that though, we have got this brick wall on top. There's actually a way we wanna go ahead and place these brick walls on top because we're gonna have these little spires. So right here, we're gonna wanna place one wall right here, one wall right here, and then we'll actually go in the very center and we'll go up two walls right there. Then we'll place one wall here, one wall here. Over here, we will go up one, two. Then we will go up one, one. We'll do one, two, and then one, one just like that and then one last one over here that goes up one two with the walls and you can see we got these nice little spires i can't remember exactly if we put warped fence or iron uh 
iron gates, not iron gates, what's it called? It's called iron bars on top. I can't remember, so I'll go back to that in just a second. But the last part of this build is we'll get our polished black stone brick stairs out, and we will start going around on this level. So there's one, two, three, four, five, on the sixth block of the stem block, we will start wrapping around this entire build with these beautiful looking black stairs. Right here by the tower, you can go ahead and stop. You don't need to go there. And then we'll just continue right over here with the staircase going all the way around like so. So keep wrapping around, almost there. And right here, we're actually gonna do something a little special too. So the reason I got the fence gate out is because up here, if we walk up onto the staircase, which we gotta jump because of that stupid soul sand, uh, if we place one fence here, one fence here, and one fence gate here, this will eventually be another way to get into the back of your house. But from here, we will actually wanna go ahead and go one, two blocks up, and then we'll place a wall that goes all the way across like this. So we got that right there. Then we get our polished black stone out and we'll go one, two, three. And now that we got that completed, we can go ahead and do these stairs, which basically for the stairs, we just wrap it around uh, right here and connect the build. And it makes it look a lot more connected. It gives us feel that this build isn't two towers jutting out. But basically we can do that. We'll connect these stairs real quick. And now that we got this kind of cool little connection post, we'll fill it in with polished black stone bricks to get it looking like these towers actually do connect. I gotta take down this basalt pillar too. That is annoying getting in my view and everything. But basically that is this next part of the video done. And we'll actually move on to, I think the tower next. We might do some decaling or something first. I'm not totally sure, but let's move on to the next part. Before we do move on to the tower and start building that, I do want to acknowledge that I found out I, you do put fence on each of these, the, the warp fence right there. You wanna go ahead and put one of these on each of these blocks, each and every single one. We will actually get rid of this one because of the tower and we will also get rid of that one because of the tower as well. But we will place the fence on each and every single one. Then we will get, if I can type, uh, iron bars and we'll only put those on the top middle ones just to make these look like the superior little spikes, I guess. It almost looks gothic, like gothic ghostly castle sort of thing. I don't know, it looks really cool though. I like this base. So let's move on to the next thing, which is this tower. So the very first thing we're gonna go ahead and do is get our stripped warp stem out again, and we're gonna make some posts that go up very, very high. Well, we will actually break these blocks too, uh, because this is where the tower is gonna go. But basically we will do this in every single corner. I don't know the exact height, just go up a decent amount right now, and then we'll start going by the windows. I'll be able to tell the final height by the windows once we start building those. But get these stems, and this is a lot of stems that you have to chop down in survival too, but for a starter base, I think this looks really, really, really cool. Um, you know, for future videos too, if you guys want to know, I think me and Pizza Boss might actually be going ahead and starting a survival Let's Play series, in, starting in the nether, once it's like officially out, this update and everything. I'm not a hundred... 100% sure. Oh, we actually don't break these blocks here. We just place these posts right here. But I'm not 100% sure about that, but that might be something in the future. Uh, let me guys, let me know down in the comments below if you guys want to see that. So now that we got these posts going up right here though, we will begin on constructing the window. So let's go ahead and I'm actually going to get rid of this fence and this fence gate and get my warped planks out back again. So right here, we will go up one right there. Actually, no, we don't want one right there. No, 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 no. We just fill in these two blocks on each inner corner with the warped planks right here and then we place one above like so, just like this going around on each and every single corner. Then we will get our polished black stone brick stairs out and wrap around on this layer right here with upright stairs going around just like this to begin starting to form the tower. So now that we got that, we will get our warp planks out again. We will place one block here, one block here, one block here, and we'll actually have two block windows. So skip one, two, place another warp plank going around right here, and you should see that with the stairs, it lines up perfectly to wrap around like this going around with the warp stairs like so. Super nice, super simple, super easy. So now that we got that, we will get our warp planks out again. We will put another plank here, here, and here. Then we will skip one and two again for the windows again. And we will play a uh, plank here, here, and here. And as you guys can see, it once again, turned out perfectly. We will get our uh, polished blackstone bricks and we will wrap around with the bricks like this going around the whole thing. Now, don't do anything right here because we do have a door that we, here that leads onto the roof. I'm not exactly sure how that works yet. We'll move on to that later, but I'm going to get my strip warp stems and I'm just going to build up a few more blocks because, again, I don't know the exact height of the tower, but we will go up a few blocks just to be sure that we have enough room to continue building. So now that we have this done, there we go. Let's get our warp planks. We will go put one here, 
one right here, and then one right here, and we'll skip one, two once again, and place them right here on every single side. We will actually place it right here, and you can see this is probably, uh, you know what, we can put an upside down warp stair. I think that's what it is right there. That's eventually gonna be the doorway right there. Now we will get our polished black stone brick stairs, and on this layer of the oak, we got one, two gap, because that's how big the windows are. We will actually place upside down stairs this time. So go ahead and wrap around every single layer with the upside down warp stairs all around the entire tower. And then I'm not exactly sure how we built the, uh, roof of the tower yet. I'm going to have to look into that into the future and see, but I do know how we do the very last window. So we will get our warped planks. We will put one here, one here, oops, one here. That's what I meant. One right here and then one right here. And we can go ahead and build up our warp stem just a little bit more. And for this window, we will uh, actually only make it one wide. So we're uh, going to put just a one wide window. Yeah. Yeah. I think that makes sense. So we'll get that right there. Then we will get our polished black stone stairs and we will wrap around one last time right up here. And if I can get the stairs to work properly, this tower should start looking really, really nice, really, really cool soon. So let's start wrapping around. And as you guys can tell, I'm not the best with placing stairs down, but I don't know if there is like, there should be like a world record champion for placing upside down stairs or something. Okay. So now that we got that, we can actually go ahead and get, oop, I don't need to type that. We got our polished black stone on us already. And basically we will just go ahead and wrap it around on this layer right here, I believe. But let me go ahead and make sure. I hope that is the right thing, but I think that's how the tower should be looking for you guys. Let me go ahead and check and I will also check on how to build the roof as well. I am glad I checked when I did because I made a little bit of a flip up, a little bit of a mistake. I'm sorry about that, guys. I will try not to do that in the future, but we actually do not want these stairs right here. So go ahead and take these down real quickly. Again, sorry about that. Uh, every once in a while, I make a mistake, but not, not very often. So now that we got that, uh, we will actually get our polished black stone and we will wrap around like so with the blocks going around this whole thing right here, just like that instead of the stairs. Basically, you're kind of replacing the stairs, except don't fill in the corners because we haven't been doing that and we want to keep uh, the sake of consistency. So now that we got that, we'll actually layer up a second layer of polished black stone like so. And we can go ahead and actually fill in the middle real quick as well. And this is where you guys will be able to see how I got confused myself. So, oop, and I just threw that stone right there. Whoopsie. Okay. So let me fill that in. There we go. What I messed up last time was I put the stairs down here when really they were supposed to be one more up. So now that we know that though, we can go ahead and get the stairs and start wrapping around the very top layer with the blackstone polished brick stairs. I think that's the name of it. I, I'm gonna have to get these names down eventually because I'm probably gonna use these bricks in the future quite often because they are so, so pretty. I love them. Yeah, for all those who don't know, actually, my favorite colors, uh, well, I have favorite colors. I don't have one specific favorite colors, but one of my favorite colors is black. So this new stone, I just, I just love it. It looks so, so cool. And I'm not emo too, by the way. <laughs> but now that we got that all settled, we have got the very tippy top of that tower done. I'm going to collect this and put that away. Um, so now that we got that, we'll actually get our warped planks and we will kind of match the lining up with the polished black stone like so. So just start going around, wrapping around with your warped planks right here. And for this one, we'll actually connect the corners each and every single time, which we haven't done in the past, but we will do that right here. And you can kind of see we got the star shaped, uh, almost looks like another star right here, shape around with the warped planks. Now that we got that, we'll actually go up one, two, three, four on every single side. So one, two, three, four with the warped planks right here, just to get this done. And this is going to be the very tippy top of the roof. So be very careful when working up at these heights too, by the way, because if you fall down, you will die. Um, even if you do have feather falling, I'm pretty sure you'll die. I, I'm not exactly sure. So now that we got that though, we will go up one block in and we will actually make a tiny bit of a cross right here. And now that we got this tower, you can definitely see how it's starting to come together. We'll get the warp planks. We'll go up one, two with the warp planks. We will get our walls out and we will go up one, two, and then we will get our fence, uh, which again, I can never type in these videos. <laughs> We will get our warped fence and we will put that on the very top to tip it off. And you can see with that little bit of a tip, that's how it actually gets its uh, 30, what is it? 31 height. I don't know. I got the sign right over here. Let's see. Yeah. 31 tall. Yeah. So that's how it gets its huge height. But as you guys can see, this is looking absolutely amazing. Now what we're going to do is we're actually going to go ahead and get some white stained glass pane. And this is where, again, you can't really get that resource in the nether because they don't have glass or anything like that. But what I want you guys to do now is to actually just go ahead and fill in every single window that we have. That includes these windows right here, these little windows, everything with the white stained glass pane, even these little midget windows right here, fill it in everywhere. 
and then we will start adding on the texturing and the final details. And for you guys who want to stick around as well, I will also show how to do the interior if you would like to see that. But yeah, start filling in with the white stained glass with pane windows and we'll start on that next part, which is texturing. Before we move on to the actual texturing of the build, I forgot that there were a few structural pieces that I should probably mention. So go ahead and get some warp trap door out for one. There is a cellar right over here. If we go in the center and we go one, two blocks away, we can put one, two black stone right there and one, two black stone, creating a three wide little thing right here. Then we'll go one, two, one, two, and then we'll go one on either side, just like that. And you can see this is kind of how the cellar is going to start forming. If we get some warped plank slabs out as well. So let's get our warped slabs. We can go one, two, three right here. We'll go down one, then one, two, three right here. We'll actually make these two right here solid blocks. And then we will get our trap doors, which our trap doors will go one here, here, here. And then we'll actually wrap around just like that to cover up the trap doors. And we can actually go ahead and make this all warped planks in here as well, if you would like. The reason behind this is so that uh, which I'll explain this a little later on. I'll probably mention it in the video again. But basically, if you're on a multiplayer server, this is a really cool way to have maybe a chest with your goodies hidden in everything. And so it's a little storage chest, which I think is really cool. I like how I added that into the thing. It's kind of secret. I mean, you can kind of see if you walk up and you, you're intentionally looking at the chest. But yeah, it's a little, little bit of a secret little uh, hiding place for your goodies. With that said though, let us also add the last few uh, key features. So if you get some uh, polished black stone out, and you'll also want some polished black stone wall, not the black stone brick, but just the regular black stone wall. If we go on this block right here, one here, one here, we place these little things on our build just to add a tiny bit more texture, a bit more color. So we add one here, one here, then we go on this one, we just keep it level, we add one here, we add one right here, and then we'll actually go to the back of the house and do it over here as well. So one here, here, one here and here. So you should have, I think, eight overall. Four in the front, four in the back of these little, I don't even know what these are. They're just to add a little bit of texture, a little bit of color to the belt itself. So now that we got that though, uh, there is another structural piece right over here. If we go ahead and get our stairs out, we'll want our polished blackstone brick stairs and we'll also want our polished blackstone brick slabs. What I do, this is a very, very tiny detail, but it does make this look a little bit better. If we put an upside down stair right here and then one, two slabs on either side, it does look like this is actually a little bit more structurally supported. It does look a little bit nicer. So I did add that. And then I think the last little detail that I have before we can do the texturing and everything is just buttons, which I put buttons pretty much everywhere. I don't know the exact every single location of every single button, but I do put them on pretty much every single plank. I never put them in the corners like this too. I don't like that. Um, and I don't put them on the tower either, I don't believe, but I do put them just every frequently, every once in a while, right here, 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 and maybe one right there. And you can see that does add a little bit of flavor to it, a little bit of texture. And now I'll move on to, I'll actually go ahead to my other world where I have the original uh, structure built. And that's where I'll show you how I did the floors, how I did the uh, lighting, the texturing of the actual build, the terrain, because I do change the terrain as well. And I do want to show you guys that. But this is the basic structure. So if you guys want to stop watching right here, you are fine to do that. I am going to go show how what lighting I did, though, and what features I added just to make it a little bit more special, a little bit more um, fun. So let's go ahead and transport to the other world. Now for the texturing and whatnot. And as you guys can see, uh, that's the one I was using as a model just to rebuild it, make sure I got everything right. As you can see, there are a lot of details that I added. I will start off with the terrain. So for the terrain, I just used blackstone, blackstone slabs, and blackstone stairs. And I surrounded the whole base in a kind of blackstone kind of plateau almost to make it look like it's uh, on a solid foundation. I don't really like this uh, soul sand texture. It doesn't look like something solid could stand on it. So that's why I had this blackstone and I included included uh, gilded blackstone, which is, I think is that, that's what, where you get gold and everything. And I also uh, spruced in some blocks of polished blackstone around and just some random stairs to make it look a little broken down, a little, a little worn down. But yeah, I did build this around the whole base and I think that adds a really, really nice detail to it. It makes it look like it's on a, a solid foundation, which I really, really enjoy. So the next thing I did, obviously you can see is these lanterns, which I added them every once in a while. You don't need the exact locations of every, each and every single lantern. You just want to place them so that they look good, so that they light up the build a little bit and they look really really nice I just place them every frequently I didn't want you to see too many lanterns like I don't want to see that because that looks like garbage I hate that so much right there and I accidentally broke the wall right there um, but yeah 
I just place them every so often. And what I did too, um, you can see with right here, I actually added the soul soil right there and I just got flint and steel to make this kind of look like a little fire thing. If you guys saw my spooky uh, mansion tutorial, you saw that I did this with this as well. I put some trap doors around and this is a nice little lighting thing that you can do around the base. I think it looks really nice. It lights it up and it gives you that cool blue fire. The next thing I did is bushes, which these aren't really bushes, but they might as well be because they relate to this kind of um, stripped warped biome or whatever. So what I did for this, I had these warp blocks placed around. So I had one, two, three, four, five here. And then every once in a while, I would also mix in some warped nylon with some, uh, whoopsie, I broke that block right there. Um, if I could type, with some warped roots, or there was another warped block that is down in the decoration box right here, uh, nether sprouts. So I would mix those in every once in a while, and that way it gives a little bit of red texture to the bushes as well. And you can see over here, I added one, two, three here. Right here, I added some of the warped roots along with the trapdoors. I do put the trapdoors on each and every single warped nylon that I see, because I don't like the red in it. But um, you guys do you, you do what you want. This is right over here where I said I would hide the goodies. You can see we got a chest and an ender chest right here to hide your goodies from other players if you're on a multiplayer server. Over here we got some more bushes with, um, right here, I didn't need to put the trapdoors because it's hidden by the actual warped warp block itself. But you can see over here, this is why I had the trapdoor over here too, or not the trapdoor, but the fence gate, was so that you could jump on these bushes and actually get up to your front door if you were to say maybe emerge from the nether from the back and you don't have to travel around to the front. You can just walk right here and get in. So it's very efficient, very easy. Easy. Right here is more of the bushes I place around the actual base itself with again the warped sprouts and the warped roots as well. And as for the texturing, um, what I did is every once in a while I mixed in some, you can see blackstone stairs and I mixed in just these different blocks just to make it look a little rustic, a little broken down. It's kind of hard to see the texture because of how dark the black uh, block is already, but every once in a while I would just replace some walls. I put some cra uh, cracked bricks right here. And basically you just wanna make it look a little rustic, a little broken down using other blocks, different blocks, just to texture it a little bit. You guys can use your own discretion to figure out how you want it built. But I think it looks pretty good like that. Now we can go on to see what I did with the interior, which my interior is not the greatest, I'm all in it, but I'm actually pretty proud of it. You know what, I, I like it, I like it. So once we go up here, we have got a door right here. As we walk in, you can see that I have the floor polished black stone, a ring of polished black stone, along with smooth quartz slab, to kind of finish off the floor. And this is obviously just a chest room with a crafting table inside so that you can have a bunch of storage and everything like that. I did put a pressure plate right here, a polished blackstone pressure plate so you can get in and out of the door pretty easily. I put an ender chest over here with some torches lighting up the base along with some black banners. And for the roof, I basically, what did I do? Uh, underneath this block, I put solid polished blackstone blocks with a smooth quartz slab on the top for the roof right there. And I think that looks really nice. Another thing about the roofs too, I might as well say real quick, is I did texture them up. You can see before it was polished, uh, it was purely polished blackstone, but I did add some blackstone as well, just to texture it up and make it not look so bland and everything like that. But yeah, so over here is basically just a nice little chest room that I built with a crafting table for ease of access. Since this is a survival base, I thought that was kind of necessary to have. Now, when we walk into the front door, we got two pressure plates there again. We have got a nice little room, which I'm actually really proud of. Over here in the corner, I used the nylum. I think that's what it's called. Let me see. Um, warped nylium. Nylium, is that how you say it? I use those in the corners for little plants, and then I use this twisting vines along with warped hyphae uh, as the plant block to make it look like we two got two alien plants in the corner. I did use some quartz uh, couches, you know, quartz stairs to make little couches right here, one right here, one right here. I got a little plant pot with some vine. I forget what type of vine that is. Uh, weeping vine right there in the pot. I got a little black carpet with uh, cayenne in the middle, and I actually do have, oh, I thought I did. Oh, right there, right, uh, we got these, um, shroom light blocks to kind of light up this whole thing and make it a little, little bit brighter, but we also do have torches on the walls and everything like that too. Right here, I do recommend using the white and black painting just because it kind of fits this white and black texture that we got going, but I do have a little painting right there. Then we've got a kitchen counter. You can see for the floor too, that I just used polished blackstone along with smooth quartz slab to fill up the middle right here. And right here, I actually placed the wrong block by accident. But over here for the kitchen, we have a polished blackstone brick wall going across. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six of those walls with black carpet on top to make it look like, like a little kitchen area. We have got two smooth quartz stairs right here to make it look like you're at a little bar. Then we got some coal blocks for the kitchen floor. For the kitchen, we have got a campfire with the uh, raw beef on top. We got a smoker, we got a little fridge, crafting table, we got a blast furnace, a cauldron, which I didn't even know you could put water in cauldrons, but apparently you can, which that's kind of weird because it's in the nether, that's weird. Uh, right here, we have got a pot with the uh, plant blocks. 
I forget what one it is. It's the warped roots in that to add a little bit of color. We got four furnaces and a little chest right there, along with some three shulker boxes on top that are black, just to add to some color and make it look nice. We have got two black panners right here on the wall. We have got another pot with a mushroom inside. I forget what, I think it's just warped fungus. Yep, there we are. And then down here, what I did is I actually went down one block in, uh, with the stairs so that we could be level with this window right here. And then I filled in this floor with warped nylon. So it looks kind of cool having the little stairway that goes down just like that. I think that looks really nice. For the ceiling as well, I just lined it with uh, the polished black stone and filled in the top half with nether quartz slab or smooth quartz slab right there. But for this, I did add two smithing tables in the corner with a little ender chest right there. I had a pressure plate right there that was made of warped planks. Then we got a brewing station with three different... Uh, kinds of potions. I guess they're not really potions. We got a honey, then we got the water, and then we just got some random potion that I picked up. For the ladder, I did use twisting vines because I thought that looked really cool. If we go up right here, this is the second foundation. So right here on this floor, I did add a little bit of a library, some bookshelves, and a lectern just to spruce things up a little bit. I added another lantern for more light. Right here, I do have a trap door. This is kind of like a doorway. You don't really need a door though. That's why I have the trap door there to just kind of make it feel like a room. But over here, we have some chests built up with a little painting of the wither skeleton or wither boss. Um, we got an end chest right here. We got the lodestone, which you can track now with your compass is what I've heard. Let me go ahead and type compass real quick. Uh, if you right click it, Yep, look at that. So this is just kind of a beacon, a way to get home. So I put that in the corner so that you can find your way home if you ever need to. We've got a little plant with a pot, a dead plant right here. And then I think it's another wart block. Yep, that we put on top. Then we've got an anvil, crafting table, a grindstone, some decorational tools. Uh, I wouldn't recommend putting your netherite pickaxe in there because that stuff is expensive. But we got a golden shovel, just two little tools. And then we have the bedroom over here. We can see we got the carpet right here as well, surrounding which is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think seven blocks uh, long is how big the carpet is with cayenne in the middle but we have got these little pillars with polished back, uh, black stone. This is actually polished black stone block. I must have just used slabs. But yeah, we got the walls on top with a brick block right here. And for the roof, uh, let me go ahead and fix that real quick. For the roof, I actually did just go ahead. You can see it's only a half slab and I used polished black stone slab just to fill up the entire roof. You will see why I did that in just a second. But basically for the bedroom, I just had a cayenne banner, a black banner, a cayenne banner, kind of like this around the room. I put in the corner these two plants, which you can't really see, which um, I just used soil soil and then the warped fun for it, some trap doors to make it look nice. For the actual bed itself, I did use these cool respawn anchor stations and I put one carpet here to make it look kind of like a nether bed. Since these technically are your beds now, I wanted it to look nice. So it looked like a kind of like a bed. I put a little painting right there as well. And that way you can set your spawn point right there if you ever need to. Like right there, we got our respawn point set. We have got a chest over here just for a little bit of storage. I thought it'd be cool if we went ahead and just got glowstone or something to fill this up. Since each time you die, you do need to refill these with glowstone. So having some glowstone right there handy would be really, really nice. But basically, that is this bedroom done. As you can see, we also got some torches on the wall and whatnot, just around the station itself. Now, if we go up to the very last story, we can go with the weeping vine, or not weeping vine, but this twisting vines right there. And this is the last part right here. For some decorational things, I put some black banners on the walls along with a painting here and here and a trap door above the door. This door does lead onto the roof, which on the roof, I thought this was really cool. First of all, I textured it up with some black stone and some polished black stone to make it look a little bit nicer. But then I also added in these farms. So right here, I've got a soul soil farm full of, uh, I did put the string on here just so that these wouldn't grow. Um, if you're in survival, you might actually want them to grow. So don't put the string there if you're in survival and you want these as a resource gathering way. But basically, I put these trapdoors going around, making it kind of look like a little farm on top. I got uh, crimson trapdoors for the fungus, the nether wart, that goes around this as well, making it look like I got two little farms on top. I got a random ender chest here. I don't know why. Uh, just a little bit of detail, I guess. And then I got some composters thrown on the top as well. Some filled to the brim, some uh, not filled quite as much. And we got a little station here with a netherite hoe, which I guess that would be the new flex instead of diamond hoe, wouldn't it? Getting a netherite hoe. But you got that there with some trapdoors on top just to make it look like a little bit of a farming ground, maybe some places where you could actually keep the resources stored and everything like that. And I think, whew, that was, a, that was a mouthful, wasn't it? I think that's actually about it for the entire build. So with that said, I really, really hope you guys did enjoy this video. I, this is one of my new favorite bases. I love this. Out of all the bases I've created so far, I really, really liked how this turned out. But I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, don't forget to like and uh, subscribe because it really does help me out. I will continue releasing tutorials like this because I love building stuff like this. This looks so cool. I'm so happy with the way it turned out. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, if you guys want, I will build another nether base tutorial for you too. Just comment down below, let me know. And I would love to build some sort of different base. Maybe one that's not 
fully using materials that are not necessarily in this world as well. But um, with that said, I, I will see you guys in the next video. I hope you guys enjoyed and enjoy playing Minecraft as always. I'll see you guys in the next video.